Okay, here we have Doodle World Deluxe being played into the Switch, courtesy of the publisher, uh, Nami Tento. Uh, I want to thank them very much for the opportunity. This game is a classic, in my opinion, on the NES. It's great on the Evercade, and it's even better here on the Switch. Now, this deluxe version does get you both the original Doodle World as well as Doodle World Redrawn. Now, with Doodle World, World Redrawn, it's a reimagining of Doodle World. So it's got uh, tougher bosses, tougher levels, um, and a double jump mechanic to help navigate the tougher levels that you'll encounter in this version. Um, each version uh, does have a kids mode. If you so choose to play that way, I like to play normal mode. And for those familiar with me covering it on the NES, or if you have it on the Evercade or have it on the NES, you'll notice this is a pretty much this pretty much plays the same exact way as you'd find on the NES cartridge or the Evercade cartridge. There's really no difference here outside of the fact that um, at the time of this recording, there are a bit of performance issues uh, with the game, uh, which I I'm to understand that by the time this comes out, <laughs> uh, this should be uh, the issue should be patched. Or, or relatively close to uh, after release. So, um, it's not the fact that... Let me try to just play without the run button. Nope. Still running into problems. Um, so it's not the fact that it's... Uh, it's an issue with the uh, with the capture card, or an issue with the uh, TV, but rather an issue with the way the game is performing. Um, now I can hit L and R together. I can change the display options, so I can I can enable a CRT filter if I wish. Um, I could do uh, I can change the uh, the frame if I want to do the world and just blink. I need a pixel perfect. I can do four by three, or I can do widescreen. Now, this is kind of cool. So you've got vanilla, you've got game child. Uh, game child contrast and virtual child and then grayscale. So I'll go ahead and show you the, the various um, filter uh, palettes here. So we've got game child, and this will give it that that old school uh, Game Boy DMG feel. Kind of cool. Now I'm curious to see if this is going to affect performance at all. Nope. And this is also in, in widescreen, which kind of looks funny, honestly. Let's go ahead and change that to 4x3 at least. Let's do Game Child Contrast, as it gives it a nice neon green color. That's kind of hard on the eyes. <laughs> uh, let's try Virtual Child. Now, this is going to be a Virtual Boy style uh, palette, which looks pretty cool, honestly. But um, again, it is a little hard on the eyes, so I'm going to. I'm going to put it back to vanilla. Now, what's cool in these games, unlike the uh, um, original NES that used a password system, you have in this game a usage of save states similar to what you'd find in the uh, uh, in the um, uh, Evercade release. So I can hit uh, save game, I can save uh, at any point, and it saves pretty quick. And then I can go ahead and just load the game. And again, it'll pretty much instantaneously load. Let me try that again. Okay, so it's a couple seconds. No, no not anything. Not anything to uh, complain about by any means. It's pretty quick. Um, it definitely does run really well. It, does, it runs relatively well. Um, again, there is that performance issue that I'm really hoping gets worked out um, ahead of release. Because it does, does kind of detract a little bit from the uh, uh, overall experience of the game. Especially depending on if that happens, like when you're jumping over a gap, or trying to jump over an enemy, and <laughs> you miss and end up getting hit as a result, or you fall as a result. But, I mean, overall, even with the, the little bit of lag that we have here, um, it's definitely still playable. Um, and very enjoyable. I love the way that the, I love the art style of this game. Um, easily one of my favorite um, uh, retro indies for sure. Right up there with uh, uh, Alfonso. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save it here. Yeah, sure, I'm going to overwrite it. And then go to the title screen. And then I'll show you um, Do the World Redrawn. Normal mode. And here we go with Do the World Redrawn. Again, opens up pretty much the same way, but you'll notice um, that you'll have various uh, changes in each level to accommodate for the double jump mechanic. Whoa. Oh. And again, just like the previous game, you do have the ability to change the filter at any point. Um, and then you can save your game, which I, what I love about this is that the save game is independent from each, um, each iteration of the game. Which I absolutely, um, wholeheartedly appreciate. Um, I, I'm glad that, that they didn't uh, decide to have one save state, um, uh, save load state for each, or for um, for both games, being in the same state. Um, definitely very much uh, appreciate that. But uh, again, just like the uh, the original version, you are going to find some performance issues um, in my my gameplay here. And, and again, I have been told this is supposed to be patched out by the time this is released. I really hope that is the case. Um, even if not, well, that was a little weird. Uh, I jumped on that eraser and still died. I haven't be caught that. That was weird. Um, but uh, besides that. Uh, or sorry, even despite that, this game is just awesome. I'm happy to see that it finally has a home on the Nintendo Switch. Um, so now you can play Doodle World, Doodle World Redrawn at any point, any time. On your couch, on the bus, anywhere you want to play it. You have the ability to play it anywhere. Um, and I want to thank the uh, developer, Nate Peters, as well as um, uh, Nami Tento for providing this uh, review code for this game and for making the game. Um, the game's amazing. I uh, definitely encourage you to take this game out if you haven't already. Um, even if you have checked it already on the platforms, this is worth getting on the Switch. Um, and that'll do it. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.